Fellow honor students, I'm here to inspire, coach, and guide you along your college journey. Because if you haven't guessed by now, I have all the answers. Yeah, no, I'm totally kidding. In fact, not to brag or anything, but I'm probably a lot more lost and out of my element here at school than any human being has ever been in all the existence of the Earth. See, now that was definitely a logical fallacy but you knew that already. Be not afraid, my point still stands. See, the truth is, I don't really know what it means to be successful. All I know is what I want in life and have a vague idea of what I have to do to get the things that I want. But does getting what I want out of life really make me successful? First, let's take a look at what I want, and let's dream big. First, I'd like to graduate college, but not just college. I'm talking grad school, baby. Not only do I want to finish my undergrad with a major in English and a minor in French, but I also hope to make it into the Iowa Writers' Workshop and to finish my first novel before I finish the program. Post-graduation, I will immediately get married, having already met the love of my life somewhere along in this narrative. And after my first book, I'll take some time off to have a kid. Well, not just one. Three. Of course, all the time I'm raising my children, I'll be working on my second novel, and even break into the music industry, writing the best song of the summer since the invention of summer. I'll publish my second book, which will of course be outrageously successful, but not as successful as my third book, which I'll publish under a secret name, but of course that won't work, because it'll get leaked on Twitter that I'm actually the author. At this time, my husband will be climbing his way up whatever proverbial ladder he has to in order to be successful at his job, and during the completion of my third novel, which will also be the time when the three of my children will be successfully completing college, he'll be the big boss, whatever that means in this situation. We will of course still be madly in love, and if you haven't figured it out by this point in the narrative, we will live happily ever after, eventually retiring, in order to take time to spend with our 11 grandchildren. So do you like my story? Pretty grandiose. But here's the more important question. In my story, did you think of me as a success? I sure did. But now I have to ask another question. If I fail to accomplish any of these things, whether it be not getting married, not becoming an author, or even, God forbid, not completing college, does that make me a failure? Now I'm using failure in this case to mean the opposite of success. I'm going to argue that, no, it wouldn't make me a failure, and here's why. To me, accomplishments aren't what makes someone a success. In my mind, at least three things are required to be a success. A positive attitude, constantly creating new and greater goals for yourself, and most importantly, acceptance that you aren't always going to accomplish those goals, and knowledge that that doesn't make you a failure. From what I know about life, which if you recall from the beginning of this video, isn't much, Someone who's constantly setting up goals for themselves and trying their very, very best to accomplish those goals will eventually succeed. But here again, I ask another question. Does accomplishing your goals make you a success? I think it depends on the goal and even on who you're asking. These, of course, aren't the only two things that need to be qualified in order to make my previous statement valid, but work with me here. Say you do follow my advice. You force your apathetic and negative teenage self to be positive. You accomplish goals that better not only yourself, but also society. You accept and move on from your failures. What then? How do you prepare yourself for all the success you're having? I think there are two very important things that are also incredibly difficult that can help someone successful deal with their success. Stay smart and stay humble. By stay smart, I mean you don't go all crazy with your success and start acting irrationally. Like say you make a bunch of money and immediately spend it all on lottery tickets. Not the smartest move. Considering how money seems to be essential to how society defines success, I think it would be unwise for me not to include it in my analysis. A smarter move would probably be to invest your money, and an even smarter move before that would be to go see a financial advisor, who probably knows a thing or two more than you about the stock market. This brings me to my second piece of advice. Stay humble. To me, staying humble means not only remembering where you came from and the people you love, but also not being afraid to ask for help. Just because you're success doesn't mean that you're all knowing or even that you have everything in your own field figured out. Now let's bring it down a little bit, back to the college level. I still say my three steps apply here, but there are certain other obvious things that you can do to succeed in college. First, go to class. I can't stress this enough. Paying for college and not going to class is like paying for a hotel room and sleeping on a park bench. It's just dumb. Second, don't procrastinate. I'm not telling you this for the sake of your grades. I'm telling you this for the sake of your sanity. As a serial procrastinator, I can tell you that the most stressed out and on edge I've ever been in school was when I waited to the last minute to do something. This very naturally leads to my final piece of advice. Stay sane. I don't think I really need to explain this one. I think you've all been at college for long enough to kind of know what I mean, but here's a little hint. Get some sleep, like more than four hours. Like, every night. I know, I know it sounds crazy, but trust me, it will really help with step three. In sum, stay positive, keep challenging yourself, and don't get down when your expectations aren't met. And just for you honor students, please, go to class, don't procrastinate, and for all our sakes, don't lose your marbles. It's not worth it. But you are. See what I did there?